It is time now for the presentation of the International President's Award. This award was created in 2010 in order that the International President might recognize an individual whom she feels has made a significant contribution to Harmony Incorporated. You may have noticed that the village vocal cords have remained on the stage. BBC, I would ask that you remain there and have your director please join me over here. <laughs> how grateful I am to call this woman my friend. And I have made no secret of how much I admire her and all of her many accomplishments. However, when we remove my personal feelings and look solely at her long list of contributions, they are legend, and they certainly stand on their own merit. and the brand new chapter of the Village Vocal Chords in 1961, just after the 14th birthday. <laughs> in 1964, at the age of 17, and singing baritone in the quartet, The Scale Blazers, she became the youngest member of Harmony Incorporated ever to win an international quartet championship. That's a distinction that is still hers alone. In 1974, this time singing bass in the quartet Esprit de Corps, she won her second international championship, and in 2008, she won her third singing bass with the Euphorics. Placement baritone for the 1987 champions Kaleidoscope, with whom she would sing for the next 10 years. <laughs> and in 2005, she became the replacement bass for the 2002 champions Voices. she made her directorial debut and directed the Village Vocal Chords to their very first International Chorus Championship. They <laughs> received silver in 1978 and reclaimed the gold in 1979. And it was at this time that Jean and her family moved away from the Chicago area and she directed the Sound Sations to a third place, fourth place finish in 1980 and a third place finish in 1981. You may recall that the Village Vocal Chords went on to win the gold in 81 and again in 83. But it wasn't until 1984 that Jean and her family moved back to the Chicago area and she rejoined the chorus. It seemed only natural that she'd pick up where she left off and she never missed a beat. As she has directed the Village Vocal Chords to an international chorus gold medal in every year in which they have been eligible to participate since. and 2011, which was also the year which Jean and the Village Vocal Chords would celebrate their 50th anniversaries with Harmony Incorporated. <laughs> for 
quartets and choruses, and as such, she was named as the first prize awarded to the chapter with the greatest percentage of membership increase realized in the first year of Operation Spark Club. She was the first director of our youth chorus, and it was she who suggested their name, the minor chorus. So, now you know, she can wave her arms a little too. <laughs> But if you recall that first quartet with which she won the gold medal, the bass was none other than G. Ruth Giles, first director and the founding member of the Village Vocal Chords. You might recognize her as the author of our Harmony Creed. It was she who taught her members the importance of participating in the governance of this new, democratic, international singing organization. She also taught them that membership is a privilege, and with privilege comes responsibility. This lesson was not lost on Jean, as she chose to serve the organization that had given her so much. You ready? <laughs> she was the Area 4 representative, 1982 to 84, first vice president, 84 to 86, international president, 86 to 88, it's a rain media rain. past it's president, 88 to 90. In 1990, she was invited to serve on the International Contest and Judging Committee. And in 1994, she was invited by the international president, she was appointed by the international president to serve as the international contest and judging chair, a position she would hold until 1998. Now, somewhere in there, she's certified as a chairman of judges, and it's the one piece of information I couldn't ask her for. <laughs> in 1999, Harmony Incorporated celebrated its 40th anniversary, and Jean was the author of the 40th anniversary book, which she presented to the membership in 2000. It was also in 2000 that she was elected to the International Board. And at our annual meetings, held right here in Orlando, Florida, she was elected to a second term as our International President, where she would serve from 2000 to 2002. Now, from 2002 to 2004, she did, in fact, serve as our immediate past president. But from 2002 to 2003, she was Vice President Membership, and 2003 to 2004, Vice President Administration. From 2004 to, 2000, 2004 to 2006, she served as our communications administrator. And for the year 2006-2007, she was the editor of the keynote. In 2010, she was certified as a judge, this time in the presentation category. She was re-elected to the international board and would serve as vice president in convention and contests. And she is, in no small part, responsible for the significant, progressive, positive and exciting changes that have occurred to our conventions over the last two years. In 2012, she recertified as a presentation judge. She was re-elected to the International Board. And just this past Wednesday, your new International Board of Directors elected her to an unprecedented third term as our International President. and contributions would not have been possible without the unconditional love, support, understanding, and encouragement of your families. I know that your parents are smiling down upon you this day at the woman that you have become, and they are wicked proud of you. <laughs> but I also know that all of Harmony Incorporated has embraced you from the very beginning. They have delighted in watching you grow from that shy little girl into the vibrant, self-confident, gracious leader that you are. Your Harmony Incorporated family has included the likes of G. Ruth Giles and many other founding members and leaders of this organization. And it continues to include a membership that adores you. Truly, your Harmony Incorporated family has had a hand in raising you from that 14-year-old kid into the big kid that you are today. <laughs> and your village vocal cords. They are standing here right behind you, where they have always stood. Certainly, if your Harmony Incorporated family has had a hand in raising you, then your village vocal cord family 
as so beautifully expressed by our international chorus just moments ago, has consistently raised you up. best 100% of the time, without that same kind of love and support waiting for us at home. Jean was blessed to have married a very patient man when she married Dennis O'Connor on May 11, 1968. There's a picture over there. <laughs> Where did she get there? I'm not saying yes. I hope you weren't in my underwear drawer, too. <laughs> They raised two children, a son Michael and a daughter Kelly, and they are thrilled to live close enough to observe and participate in the raising of their darling, nearly six-year-old grandson, Amy. <laughs> Jean, would you join me over here, please? Way back in January, you and I had a telephone conversation as we were discussing potential changes to the convention schedule. It was at that time that you shared with me that in 1986, when you were installed as our international president for the very first time, it was at the membership meeting, to which only Harmony Incorporated members could attend. Your dear mother was not a member, and thus she could not observe as her shy youngest daughter ascended to the highest office in the organization that her daughter loves so well. It is for that reason that this award is presented to you this day with your Harmony Incorporated family in front of you and your Village Vocal Cord family behind you as I ask for help from one individual who perhaps more than any other knows just how much of yourself you have given and continue to give to Harmony Incorporated. Would you all please welcome Dennis O'Connor. Jesus said, are you able to say anything? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, uh, I am, um, uh, this is an honor that, uh, that I can't ex explain. Um, to say that, first of all, D, we have to remain best friends because you know too damn much about that. <laughs> But seriously, folks, <laughs> uh, let me just say this. Um, from my heart, uh, I love this organization. I have loved it since the night I was introduced to it, the night the neighbor took me to a chorus that she had joined. And I said, oh, sure, I'll go. And, I, and it was that night I was introduced to the genre. I had never heard Barbershop Harmony. Introduced to the International Organization of Harmony Incorporated introduced to Ruth Giles and those to the Village Vocal Chords. It was their charter night, the night they, they, they were chartered to Harmony Incorporated. And I met the international president, Joanne Willett. Okay. From that moment, my life changed. I don't know what it would have been without you, but I can't imagine living it without you. Everything that, that has been given to me from you has been a gift that I've cherished and will always cherish. I love you, Harmony Incorporated. I love my village vocal cords, and I adore my husband, Dennis. Thank you so much. <laughs>